Push. I'm back with a review. <clears throat> if you checked my review a couple days ago, it was on the loons. Um, yesterday I had a pickup. Uh, I went to Cal's Pharmacy here in Portland. Uh, if you guys are watching my channel, any of you are in Portland and you don't know already, uh, they're liquidating everything. Um, I got the loons, nine and a half my size for forty bucks, and um, and then I went up. Uh, I was there yesterday. I went there yesterday with a, <clears throat> a friend of mine to get some shoes, and basically I uh, ended up coming home with two more boxes. Um, although definitely not going to be a heat pickup or anything, just um, a couple P rods. And I haven't bought P rods in a long, long ass time. So I thought, you know what, two pairs for forty bucks or one for twenty five. You know what, why not get a couple um, <clears throat> and rep some of his shit. So the first one is going to be, uh, <clears throat> of course, the P-Rod box. That white with the signature and all that stuff. Size 10. P-Rod 3. And I've never been a fan of P-Rod 3s. Uh, the first colorway was sick with like a little bit of that elephant print on the toe. But uh, I've never been a fan. And then uh, this was the last size. They had a 10. A little bit big for me, but you know what? It's going to work. Uh, I wore these yesterday, so pardon if they're a little bit dirty. Um... This is the a light gray version, and the very similar colorway from the P Rod One, from shit man back at like '06. And uh, I'll just do a quick review. I know no one really gives a shit about uh, P Rod Threes, but whatever. Uh, basically, consists of like a really, really nice, good quality buttery suede, all gray. Uh, tongue is gray, that suede. Um, the P Rod print right here, an ostrich-looking leather tongue. Perforated right here in the middle. You know the eyelets are black. Uh, the midsole is pretty crazy techy. I mean, this is a really huge, bulky shoe. Uh, so if you're not gonna rock like somewhat baggy pants, you're probably gonna look like a goon. <clears throat> so make sure you have like some sort of uh, baggy pant rolling. <clears throat> Bottom, you'll know, get that hit of crazy neon like lime green, white and black in the midsole. So uh, big ups to P Rod. His five will be coming out. God, I wish I knew when, but uh, I like that shoe. I know not a lot of people like it, but whatever. Next shoe, Pirata 2.5, size 10 as well, 25 bucks. Why not, right? Uh, I have not bought a pair of Pirata 2.5s. Uh, I almost did once, but uh, I just decided they weren't very comfortable. But uh, I could really use this color because this is really kind of a cool color. And a deep, 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 deep burgundy. Um, so as you can see, obviously it's a very deep burgundy, um, way past maroon. Um, it's all really good quality suede. I feel like it is um, all burgundy. The suede is a burgundy leather swoosh. As you can see with the light hit on it, the leather in the back here, SB Nike SB stitching in the baby blue. The inside is a baby blue along behind the tongue. Um, the tongue is a mesh burgundy. Nike SB in that blue <clears throat> says P Rod Rodriguez 2.5. And that blue as well. I think kept the white laces on because I wasn't really feeling, uh, you know, having a shoe rocking baby blue. And I'm not the biggest fan of baby blue, but whatever, it'll work. Midsole white, white bumper, burgundy stripe, bottom gray. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for checking it out. I know it was no big deal. I just wanted to share with you guys uh, a couple things that I got. So, um, hit me up, please. Let me know what you think, um, and hopefully I'll be getting some sort of new pickups in the future. Thanks, guys.